What's up, Kansas City? It is 2024. I hope all y'all out there had a very, very Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Happy Holiday all the way around. Uh, here at IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. And this is KC Sports Family. We definitely like to wish y'all a Happy New Year and hope that your new year be filled with prosperity, blessings, increases in the positive direction. And all of that good stuff, all of that good stuff. Whoa, man, it's been a busy holiday season for us. And we missed you guys, man. We're happy to be back here. <laughs> Kicking the New Year's off right. It's only right. It's only right that we bring you the first show of 2024 from this crazy sports on the first day of 2024. <laughs> So, you know, it was a lot of debate, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of going back and forth and pondering if we should do it today. I know a lot of people were spending the last few days with their families that came in from out of town or on their way back home from going out of town and just trying to relax on the last few days of the, I guess the holidays, I guess the holiday season. Um, a lot has happened. You had a lot of uh, college NCAAF college bowls going on and still going on. Just got through watching uh, myself. Just got through watching uh, LSU and Wisconsin. And uh, I don't really care. I didn't care who won, honestly. Uh but it was nice to see that. I mean, it was it would have been nice to see Wisconsin win, just because they they basically had the the lead, you know, most of the game really. They I honestly thought that Wisconsin was gonna pull it off, and then you make costly mistakes in the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. You had the game. It was 31, 35, I believe, something like that. You could, yeah, 31, 35. You could have won the game. You had a promising drive in the last two minutes. You went three nice passes. Question Why wouldn't you run the ball? Hmm? Why wouldn't you run the ball? Mix the offense up. Try to knock LSU defense. Try to knock them off balance a little bit. They were expecting pass, 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 pass. You guys, you're only down by four. You have two minutes. You at midfield, and you're moving. You're moving with momentum. Why not run? That that fourth drive, after you picked up the first, what, first two first downs or whatever, that fourth drive, should have been the fourth drive of the new first down, which should have been a run, a run, should have been a run. But you guys kept going with the same shit. Kept going with the pass. LSU was like, huh, okay. Let's drop back a little bit. Let's send a few. Let's drop back, put people under, put, 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 put people on people in the backfield and the secondary. And we're going we're gonna to blitz the hell out of them. And they knew it. They saw it. LSU saw it after the first time when they got through that hole after the first time. Oh, we got to do do this another two or three more times. It's over. It's over. They can't. They're not stopping this blitz. Lock down the secondary blitz. We're getting pressure with however people, however many we sent the first time. If we can do it a second time, we know we got it in the bag. What they do, they did it a second time, and it almost cost. Wisconsin big, like that that ball got knocked out, fumble. Luckily, the other 
Luckily, the team, a teammate saw it and jumped on it because LSU jumped on it first, but, you know, ball squirted out a little bit, and then Wisconsin was fortunate enough to jump on it. Okay, so we learned, we should learn a lesson at this point. We should learn a lesson. Let's try to let's try to throw them off balance here. We can, we can, we can't necessarily do a run, but let's see if we can do maybe something short real quick and try to pick up as many many yards we can pick up and see if we can salvage this drive here, right? I mean, because that's what I would do. I'm not looking for the D ball. I'm looking, you know, to try to get back in control of this. What Wisconsin do? Nope. They didn't look for the drop. They didn't run. They didn't. They were trying to look for another deep ball. And what happened? Got sacked. Got sacked. Dude, what is wrong? Now you have fourth and I think it was fourth and 28. Now you in trouble. Fourth and 25, something like that. Now you're in trouble, okay? Now, you, now you're desperate. See, you wasn't desperate at first. Now you're desperate. Fourth and 20, what? Fourth and 25. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. It's, it's, it was sad to see. And I feel like this is why some of these quarterbacks and stuff don't make it in the NFL or even to the NFL. It's because these coaches, they do pretty decent all season, but when it matters, they set them up for failure in my eyes. Because there is no reason why you guys is moving this ball midfield a little less than two minutes. And you guys got momentum, and you guys keep you keep trying to throw. I wouldn't have, no. You have to knock knock them off balance. But anywho, too bad, so sad for Wisconsin LSU with the dub, and currently, uh, the Oregon Ducks getting the dub against Liberty Flame. Uh, but that's good for those those people. That's good for those teams. You know, that's that's good for them. This, though, this is KC Sports. I am your man, Bishop, if I didn't. For those of you who's probably tuning in for the first time, for those who's been tuning in since we started the program, y'all know who I am. But for those who's just not tuning in for the first time, welcome. Thank you for listening. You can be anywhere in the world doing anything getting ready to get your New Year's started properly. So a lot of po- folks got to go back to work tomorrow. Uh, we talk about sports in the Metro. I am ready for... You, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. You're going to think I'm crazy because I love football. I love football. That's That's my favorite sport. I don't care anything about basketball. I don't care. I'll talk a little bit about it, but I don't care. Um, I like a little hockey, not a lot. That's why I don't talk about it. We don't have a hockey team here. I would love for us to have one, but we don't. Um, soccer. I can I can understand a little soccer. A little soccer. Yeah. And we're going to talk about soccer, you know this season a lot because there's some things that happen, you know. Um, Casey Current Stadium is well on its way for uh, opening this season. First woman soccer stadium to be built, and it was built here in Kansas City. So, yes, it's all shiny and new, and I can't wait for that. But, I can't wait for the NFL season to be done. What? Yeah, I'm tired. And I love football. But this season 
has been very, very strange. Very strange. Very odd. It's not right. It's the polarity is off. It's 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 backwards. It's not right. Something's not right with this season. I'm ready to see the now. Although I'm ready for the NFL season to be done, I'm ready to see the NFL season start again with some new faces. Some of these kids that's coming out of college right now. I, I want to see what's going to happen in 2024. I'm ready to see that. Yeah, I kind of just skipped over the, what, nine months of 2024. <laughs> I just, I, I'm ready to skip nine months into 2024. Skip forward nine months. And boom. However, however, we, we, we have to slow down. We can't just fast forward nine months. We have to slow down at the NFL draft. But we also have to see what's going to happen this MLB season. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to see what the Royals have in store for us. Because last time I checked, they were spending some money. Somebody opened up their checkbook. So, shout out to KU, K State, MU, and of course, the Chiefs. What's up? Let's take a look real quick. I Sports Radio chat side. Who else? No other. The man, the myth, the legend. Everything about everything about everything that has to do with volleyball. He knows everything, all right? He knows other stuff, other sports, but the man is a volleyball guru. No other, no one other. Terry Rodgers. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, Mr. Rodriguez? Hey, happy 2024 to you and the other IE Sports Radio family, y'all can check Taryn Rodriguez out on Set Point. Great show. If you get a chance, turn into it, tune into it, man. Like I said, the, very knowledgeable, very, very knowledgeable. So that's the guy. That is the guy. If you if you need some of the volleyball fixings, he knows all about it. He knows all about it. Ah, uh, so yeah. Chiefs did what they needed to do, took care of the Bengals. Let me ask y'all a question real quick, man. Hold on, hold on. I know we kind of got started late. We had a little technical difficulties. Um, and like I said, we were we were debating on if this should be done today because, like I said, it's, it's technically a holiday, right? But it's time to get back into things. We 2024... We plan on taking the show up a lot of notches. Not a few, not some, a lot of notches. You know, to try to get, you know, some press conferences going on. I'm going to try to sneak my way into, you know, Brett Beach office and Andy Reid's office and stuff and just pick their brain a little bit into the Royals organizations. You know, we're going to try to we're going to try to hit the ground with the show. Get us some interviews, hopefully pick up a few sponsorships. You know, we're going to try to kick it up. So, I was sitting there before we did start the show. I said, we one, we had technical, a little technical difficulties. I'm not going to lie about that. But I was like, yeah, you know what? Because I was like, eh, forget it. We're not going to do it today. We're not going to run. I was, as I was thinking, like, what better way to start the new year off? Just do it. Just do it. No, I'm not trying to be Nike. However, Nike, if you feel like you want to sponsor us over here at IE Sports Radio, your direct fee for all that is sports. Bring it. But, you know, just, 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 you have to just do it. And, that, you know, you have to get up and just go. So we're going to try to kick things off. We're going to try to raise the bar for ourselves. We're not in competition with anyone. We just want to bring you the best quality of content as possible. So we want to try to raise the bar a little bit this year, a lot of bit, a lot of bit this year. Make the show flow a lot more natural. Get us some guest speakers. 
some interviews, like I said, things like that. Hopefully get some prizes and stuff, some t-shirts and all that good stuff to you people out there who take time out of your day and listen to us rant about sports. We're going to take a quick break right here. Um, when we come back, we're going to talk about the Chiefs taking down the, the Bengals. And what is up with the Bengals fans? Like, look, look, I respect some of y'all. I respect a lot of fan bases. But what I don't respect is when people like to throw rocks and hide their hand. I can't, I can't take it. It, 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 it does something inside of me, man. It, it just boils me, man. Like, don't talk shit, and then act like you, when when you get checked, act like, whoa, you know, I'm the victim here. No, you're not. No, you're the suspect. You, you're not the victim, all right? So, like I said, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to chop it up about the Bengals uh, or the that, that Chiefs game against the Bengals, a little bit about their fan bases and, and a lot of other fan bases because it's even, even ours, the Kansas City Chiefs kingdom. Some people in ours are, dude, just chill out, enjoy the game. Like like I said, I like the, I like the back and forth, respectful back and forth. It makes it fun. It makes it interesting. But when you when you when you get out of pocket and then you get checked, don't start acting like the victim. Hey, so that's all I'm saying. But we'll be right back. It's me, your man Bishop, live, direct, I Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that sports, and you are tuned into this is KC Sports. We'll see you in a second. What's up, everybody? This is Taryn Rodriguez. Are you a fan of volleyball? Are you a fan of Thunder Spikes? Then I have the show for you. Set Point, where I cover NCAA men's and women's volleyball, high school boys and girls volleyball, beach volleyball, and even professional volleyball. Catch the action every week here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. What up, Boston sports fans? This is Mikey Two Guns here, your host of Our Bleepin' City, airing every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Please join me. We'll talk everything Boston sports, all the local teams, college teams. I'm even down to talk MMA, boxing, whatever you guys want. So join me every Wednesday night, 7 to 8 p.m. Chime in with your questions on the chat, tweet the show, We'll leave enough Collins. I can't wait to hear from you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. So once again, it's our bleeping city. I am your host, Mikey Two Guns. Every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. Right here on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. See you soon, people. Sports fans, do you like teams that are tough, cities that are tougher, and fan bases that are passionate about their teams? How about teams that are historic and stadiums that are iconic? Then you belong in Chicago, and you need to check out Chi Town Weekly. Join me, Adam Kernan, every week as we keep up with all things Chicago sports. Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks. Cubs, White Sox, we'll cover them all plus more. The Windy City is always buzzing, and we'll keep you up on all the big games and major stories. So tune in to Chi Town Weekly every week right here on IE Sports Radio, 
your direct feed for all that is sports. Specialist, he will bring you everything you need to know about Shot Town Sports. Y'all know who it is, man. No one other than my man Adam Carnage. to you brother hopefully your holidays was great welcome back everyone welcome back so we got to go ahead and give our round of claps out to these teams that did their thing we have first up i don't have a drum roll so anyway (laughs) shout out to ku i told y'all man this is i'm a one six side all right i'm from missouri kansas city and you know there's a kck so, you have the 913. I got love for them, too. So, shout out to KU, who did their thing over the weekend at the bowl, or, yeah, whatever. At the bowls, they just took down UNLV at the Guaranteed Rate Bowl, I don't know. Anyway, 49-36, Bean went off for 19, he had 19 for 28, 449 yards, six touchdowns, count them, six touchdowns, three interceptions. Top two rushers for KU were Neal with 20 carries for 71 yards, uh, Highshaw, uh, five carries for 27. Their two top receivers was Grimm, four receptions for 160 yards. Arnold has six receptions for 132 yards. Man, give it up for them, for them boys over at KU. They did their thing. Good job, KU. Seriously, good job, man. Uh, so that's that was awesome. That's awesome to see. All three teams... Within the, you know, metropolitan, I guess you could say, area, case, you know, case, not metropolitan, but yeah, I get what I'm saying. Case, between the two, you know, states, the cousins, Kansas, Missouri, whatever. Um, K-State, KU, and of course, MU, all won their bowl games, man. Yep. Yep, I'm, 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 we taking it, yep, we taking it there. Because the claps are deserved. This is going to be a show of claps. Uh, K-State went on ahead and took care of North Carolina State. 
Uh, it was 28-19. Johnson did his thing. 14. 14 for 31. I'm trying to see what happened here. Hold on. Minutes. 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 Minutes did what they wanted to do. All right. <laughs> I have my notes. They just said, poof. Uh, 14 for 31, 178 yards, two touchdowns. That's what's up. No interceptions. Uh, top two rushers was Giddens. He had 28 carries for 151 yards. Jeez, that's 5.4 average, 5.4 a carry. Uh, one touchdown, Johnson. The man said, hell, I'm going to run it myself. Seven carries, 71 yards, one touchdown. They put that work in. They two top receivers was Brown, five receptions, 52 yards. And, of course, Gideon, he had to get in on some of that receiving action as well. One reception, 37 yards. My man had a rushing touchdown. Giddens, Giddens had a rushing touchdown and a receiving touchdown. They put the work in. Okay. They put the work in. And, of course, this was probably, this was probably one of the funnest bowls. Because uh, I've never, I, I don't know, if, is this the first year? I don't know. I don't know much about none of the bowls. But K-State played in the uh, Pop-Tarts Bowl. That has to be, like, <laughs> one of the best bowls there is. Like, I think when they won, they got to eat like a big ass giant pop tart. Like it was crazy. It was crazy, man. Uh, I, I was trying to see if I can find. I was trying to see if I could find that the 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 video of them eating the big the big pop tart. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, what? We got some beef. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, man. We got some beef between Cheez Its uh, and the Pop Tart. The Pop Tart mascot. What's going on here? What? What happened? Hold up. Cheez Its clapped back. Cheez Its has responded to the Pop Tarts Bowl fiasco with their own mascot and message. Wow. What? What happened? They put. Wait, wait. I want to see what. I got to find out more about this. I don't know. All I know is that it looked like. Like. I think they ate like a giant pop tart, man. I don't know. That has to be the best thing ever. I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's crazy. It's crazy. It came with its own edible man. Oh, okay. So Adam <laughs> That's wild, bro. Like <laughs> I always thought it was like too many bowls. You know, like, it's hard to keep up with all that, all that crap. And I'm like, that's one thing that kind of, like, kept me away from watching college football and stuff. Because it was too many bowls. I'm like, why do you need a bowl for everything? But this whole Pop-Tart cheeses thing is, this is, this is classic right here. This is classic. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another man in the building. Another legend. The, he holds it all down, man. He he is the best. Y'all know who it is. No one other than the man, Larry B. Larry B. Step in, man. Happy New Year to you and your family, Larry B. We appreciate it. He said, Larry B. says it's like game and fifty cent beef, <laughs> the cheese is pop tart beef. Oh man, first show of twenty twenty four. You right, Larry B. Man, we appreciate it, man. Uh, dude, this is crazy, but yeah, <laughs> they got a beef, man, this is, so this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be the new thing for 2024, huh, now Cheez-Its is gonna, oh man, this is, this is gonna be wild, this is gonna be wild, man, 
they ate a giant. They ate a giant pop tart, bro. Like this is, this is wild. I didn't. I want to see like the edible mascot, man. That is dope. Oh, oh, okay. Hold up. Ah. <laughs> She just put the sign up said non edible mascot. Ooh. Ooh. Cheese's citrus bowl mascot was not taking any chances. The cheese's mascot does not want to be eaten. That's hilarious. That's that's funny. That's funny, man. That is funny. That's hopefully we get Jesus is about to drop 300 bars. <laughs> hey, that hey, if they were smart, they would run with that. Like that that serious. They they should run and make it a whole beef, man. Like seriously. That the Kellogg's and the Bisco or whoever the hell Jesus is now should run with that and just go, just go. Like kind of like McDonald's and Wendy's. Just run with it and just see where it goes, man. That that'd be freaking dope. So <laughs> So yeah, so K State was able to enjoy that big ass Pop Tart that looked looked pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It looked pretty good. It definitely was better than the guaranteed rate bowl. I don't know what what Hey, you got to eat for that. I don't think they got to eat anything. But, <laughs> but KU won their bowl game, and that's all that mattered. They got to hoist that trophy. But next up, my people, they took down Drinkwitz, Coach Drinkwitz, uh, and Co. took down Ohio State. Yeah. They ain't, they, ain't mold, they ain't water them boys, but they put them down. Now, 14-3 was the final score in the Cotton Bowl, Mizzou versus Ohio State. Mizzou come out on top 14-3. Cook went, did his thing, 11 for, uh, 11 for 18. Uh-oh, 11, 11 out of 18, 128 yards, one touchdown, two top rushers with Schrader, of course. 29 carries, 128, one touchdown. Uh, Cook ran it himself a couple times for uh, 19, 19 carries, 66 yards. Uh, two top receivers was Johnson, one yard, uh, I'm sorry, one reception for 50 yards. And we, he went on ahead and had four receptions for 43 yards. Not too much through the air. Uh, a lot of it was taken care of, a lot of business was taken care of on the ground. However, they still won the Cotton Bowl. That is what's up. All three teams that are local to me won the bowl. That is what's up. That is what's up. So, take another quick break real quick. We come back. We're going to talk a little bit. I know. I know. Y'all still look excited. Go ahead. Get your claps up. We're going to talk a little bit about this Chiefs game that went down and what we're expecting to happen in the playoffs. And why do fan bases run their mouth and then turn around and act like victims? I don't know, but we'll talk about it once we come back from break. This is KC Sports. I am your man, Bishop, and uh, we are live and direct on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Stick around. We'll be right back. Seriously. Are you a fan of Buffalo sports? Are you thinking of changing loyalties and becoming a Buffalo sports fan? Do you even know where Buffalo is on the map? Did you know Canada is closer to Buffalo than New York City? Welcome to the Buffalo Huddle every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. I'm your host, Patty Bax. 
This is a podcast designed for you, the passionate sports fan. I know you love your sports. Who doesn't? I cover Buffalo sports and so much more by bringing in the human elements. I call it Buffalo sports with a twist. Join me as we take a journey into the world of Buffalo sports. I guarantee you'll fall in love with Buffalo just like I did. Each week we start with an inspiration, question of the day, a Buffalo fun fact, and a weekly challenge to you, the listener. Come huddle up with me. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time for the Buffalo Huddle with Patty Bax on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. As we say in Buffalo, Go Bills! Good everyone, it's Drewski, the host of Heart of Texas Sports on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. On this station, we cover everything in the Dallas Fort Worth, Texas area. From where we cover the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Stars, Dallas Mavericks, Dallas Wings, Texas Rangers, TCU, SMU, we cover it all right here every Wednesdays from 9 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you stay live with me on the Heart of Texas Sports on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. Part of the show where we go ahead and talk about some Kansas City Chiefs and the NFL and things that are to come. I am excited. You should be excited if your team is still in it. But if not, I understand why you salty and you hate it from the couch. It sucks. I know. It'll be all right. Playoffs. It's a session. be a lot of heartbreak, the heartache for a lot of people, but, you know, so I was reading an article uh, from Arrowhead Pride, and they were going over the scenarios and all that stuff and the different percentages for um, Chiefs playoff uh, scenarios, I guess you could say, so where we are right now, um, I guess it's going to come down to this, which is interesting because, and I want to sh- tell you what I think is very interesting is 
the Miami, what was getting the Miami game that we had uh, in uh, Brussels or wherever it was over over there in Germany. Um, everyone wanted it here in Kansas City. They wanted Tyreek Hill to come back to Kansas City, all right? Sometimes you have to be careful what you ask for. I'm going to say it again. Sometimes you have to be careful what you ask for. Because as of right now, okay, as of right now, there's, what, about 40, according to Arrowhead Pride, there's a 47% chance that we could be hosting Miami here in Kansas City. And after Miami took their first L from us over in Germany, I mean, you know, we, you know, it, it barely went down. I can only imagine the, the, the sense of urgency and anger and determination to try to embarrass us here in Arrowhead. And the only reason I feel like it will try to turn into something like that is because our receivers. Our offense hasn't been putting up a lot of points. Because you just might get it, according to Paige. Hey, Paige. Paige is here, everyone. Yeah, Happy New Year, Paige. So, um, I can, I can, I can see it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Pat's in the building. This is, this is, New Year's is starting off right. New Year's is starting off right. Mike said, need those Chiefs to pick it up. It's playoff time. Exactly. You got that right. You got that right. It's playoff time. Hopefully this is it. Like like I said, I was me me and the wife, we were out uh Saturday night and we were talking to a nice couple and we were talking about the Chiefs and they asked my thoughts on the Bengals game and uh, I was like, Well, it can go one or two ways. <laughs> um we just need our offense to click. I thought the game against uh uh, I want to say, I, I said Green, not Green Bay, Green Bay, but it could have been the Patriots. I don't know. I, I, I just felt like one of those games was was the turning point for the offense. Like, it was just about to snap. And here we are. We're still going down this dirt road. We're struggling a little bit on a flat tire. Um, But that's okay. I think playoffs bring out a different side of us, right? And my concern is that, Miami is going to try to pull out all the stops, you know, if they have to come here and play at GEHA Field at Arrowhead, okay? Um, but so far, that is the, the best chance, the best, that's the highest uh, scenario that has the highest chance of happening is Miami coming to Kansas City. So we might get that Tyreek, that welcome home Tyreek, uh, that a lot of fans ask for. Uh, real quick, uh, I guess the second best would be the Bills coming here, but we've had that. We had that. We've seen that story. We've seen that show. But like I said, what's interesting is that everyone wanted Miami to come to Kansas City in the uh, earlier part of the year. Went to Germany. They felt like the NFL cheated them. Did the NFL have this plan? I ain't gonna get into conspiracy theories or script writing antics, but boy. Did this turn out the way that the NFL wanted it to? Here you are possibly playing in the playoff wild card game, whatever, against Miami at home like you wanted it. Now it's on the even bigger stage instead of just a regular season game. The NFL's good. They're good. They're good. Got to give it to them. They are good. Okay? Um. So, real quick, switch gears. Why do fan bases run their mouth if they're going to act like victims? I don't get it. You have Bill's Mafia, which I have respect for all fan bases. I have no issue against that. Um, I do I do have a, kind of a 
question about Bill Mafia. I was scrolling Facebook earlier, and some Bill Mafia page popped up. I don't know why this stuff. Raiders pages pops up. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I don't. Facebook is trolling, I guess. Um, and Bill's Mafia had a cardboard image of a penis, right? And it was like Mahomes' face next to it and all that. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know what's up with Bill's Mafia and dildos and all that stuff. It's weird to me. I I just thought y'all were a bunch of table breakers and went Buffalo Wings eaters. I didn't know y'all were into penises. That's y'all thing. We don't discriminate here at This Is KC Sports and the <laughs> Sports Radio. We love everyone. You all are welcome here. It's just a little, you know, what is what is the obsession with dildos and stuff? Bill's Mafia. You have to. T- I don't. I don't know. Is there a joke behind it? What? What? What is it? I don't. I don't know why a lot of Bill Mafia fans are into penises, but you know, I guess if you're in Buffalo where nothing ever happens, you get bored and you start playing with all kind of shit. So that's weird. Um, not weird. Not weird because we don't judge here. No. 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 No kink shame, but it's different. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but anywho. You know, I'm on Twitter at X Runners. You can find me there. Um, it's the Bengals fans are probably like the weirdest out of everyone. Okay, they sit up there and they talk shit about the Chiefs all season, all season. I see it on the on the timeline. I'm not making this up. I can shut. We can scroll back. Hell, I bookmark some of the stuff because I'm like, that's weird that y'all talking about the Chiefs. Y'all, Shouldn't y'all be talking about what's happening with your team? Like, you know, what's what's new with your team? Why is the Chiefs in your mentions? So, it's it's odd. But when you clap back at them, they say rent free. I don't know if I don't know if the Bengals fan base is filled with a bunch of children, a bunch of kids, because when you when you check them, their response is rent free. Which means that we're thinking about them, their fan base. When y'all is blowing my timeline up, that I don't even follow most of y'all, blowing my timeline up, talking about the Chiefs. Like, you're weird. Stop being weird. Focus on your team. Your team is on the couch. But, <laughs> but Jamar Chase, talk shit before the game. Stop talking shit if you don't want to be, you know what I'm saying, clowned after it, the, the results end up differently than what you anticipated them to be. Don't talk, you talking shit about our corners saying, I wish I had the freaking clip. I, I wish I had the audio clip because I don't want to put words in people's mouth. I want to play it word for word so that you can hear it out of the horse's ass, I mean mouth. All right. My man said, we don't have no elite talent on in the secondary it's not like we got a Jalen Ramsey or somebody who's Jalen Ramsey ain't even been Jalen Ramsey for real for real but anywho then you get held to what four receptions was it four let's pull up the stats because I don't want to cheat him I believe it was four receptions uh 41 yards let's see here according to Google it's three receptions, 41 yards. See, what you failed to realize, Mr. Jamar Chase, was that Trent McDuffie and LeJarrius Sneed has been pretty much shut down corners this season. They 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 checked a lot of you wide receiver ones and kept you kept you in pocket, bro. But you, you, I mean, and I get it. You focused on your team. You ain't really paying attention. You ain't checking on them, you know. But you should have been before you opened your mouth. They don't have, no, we don't have a Jalen Ramsey, but we got a Jerry Sneak. And then the Bengals fans is on Twitter talking about y'all double team Jamar Chase. Y'all double team them all game. First off, that's a weak ass argument. You sound like a punk. All right. <laughs> you sound like a punk punk. Uh, and then it's football, bro. If Jamar Chase is who he say he is or who he feel he is, if he feel like he's a top flight receiver and he's elite above all and everything that's around him and up under him, 
then it doesn't matter what the coverage is. If they double team him, that's fine. But according to next gen stats, I believe Legere Sneed was one on one for him for seventy percent of the game. And you still ended up with three receptions of forty one yards. Stop being weird, like my man Larry B just said. Stop being weird, buddy. Stop it. You're being weird. Because then you turned around in the post-game interview and was like, we exchanged some words, something, something, X, something, something, something. He won't fight me. He won't fight you? You're supposed to be an adult, bro. You just lost a football game. What do you want to fight for? <laughs> what do you want to What do you want to fight for, bro? <laughs> you mad? You want to take your ball and go home now? Now you want to take your ball and go home? <laughs> go home then. Silly ass. Man, I like to thank everybody. <laughs> everybody that tuned in. It's, it's been a pleasure. I'm happy to be back. First show done. 2024. We're going to try to turn it up a notch, man. For real, for real. We're going to try to get some callers, interviews, maybe some live coverage. Who knows? been a pleasure I know a lot of us got to return back to work tomorrow appreciate everyone that showed up yep like Paige said you got outplayed now you want to fight that is the oddest thing if you want to be a fighter you should have went to MMA or or UFC boxing or something if you want to fight you got outplayed the football game which is what you chose to be professional what do you want to fight for well Jerry Sneed probably would have punched the lights out but then he thought about like hey I don't want to be suspended for the playoffs so I'll shove you a little bit get out of here kid you and your weird fan base get out some of y'all like some of y'all are just peace out